Oh, we continue to hold things down here in the kitchen. Mr. M.O.S. himself is checking out the brand new spot in downtown D.C. that promises to be the <laughs> nation's capital, newest culinary landmark. Uh, Bob, I saw this on Instagram and I said we got to get there. So I'm super excited for this segment. Yeah. I I'm psyched to be here as well. This opened just last week. The square here in the heart of downtown Washington. Picture 19th and K here in Northwest, right above the uh, Farragut West Metro Station. And it's it's like 25,000 square feet of, of uh, it's a food market, restaurants. It's a it's an incubator, if you will. Different stalls, different setups, but they're all kind of working together. It's a it's a collaboration, if you will. And we're at Hamon Hamon, which is the brainchild of Ruben Garcia. Uh, Ruben, Hello, thanks sir. for having us in. One of the co-founders. Pleasure. Pleasure. Tell me this, like, so I, I see your plates here. I mean, these are yeah. absolutely gorgeous. These are on on the menu, right? And yeah. and it comes straight from uh, the Hamon right here. Absolutely. Here you have. This is a leg of Hamon. Uh, the big difference of uh, what normally we know here in the U.S. is this is like Iberico pick. A very good pick comes for the Iberian Peninsula and then it's uh, it's fed with uh, acorns. Uh, acorns. Acorns, yeah. The labs have five, six months of uh, their life. They eat acorns. And this is why you see all this fat, you know, that is... Uh, it almost looks like prosciutto, marmalade. but it's not, right? It's it's jamón. Jamón, sorry. Okay. I, I would call it prosciutto, prosciutto, if it will be prosciutto. This is jamón, jamón. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, jamón. Here we go. And this is... Show me how you slice this. Oh, my goodness. Really, really, really thin, you know. Paper and, thin. And you're going to allow me to feed oh. you, right? Uh-huh. Look at how sexy. Oh right? Oh, so this is like, what so do we do in the rest of the day? Uh, eating, ha eating jamon. <laughs> there we go. And wine. Mm. That's oh, wine. Richie Brandenburg is a co-founder. If, if uh, you love Union Market in D.C., Richie was one of the co-founders over there, brought that to life. He's helped to bring the square to life. Um, tell me about Ann Cashin, people uh -huh. who know and love food in D.C. Ann Cashin is part of this collaboration is that right tell me let me ask richie how how are you getting everybody together i mean it seems like a great concept we've, we've gone to all the veterans of dc all the great chefs that we have a lot of respect for we kind of created a menu mix of the different concepts we wanted and we went after the best of what represented dc here i mean the collaboration here downstairs is something that you don't see behind the scenes with the like commissary kitchen there's a commissary kitchen down there that we all support each other i mean these 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 sandwiches that we're making here in Hamon Hamon, which is a classic Spanish sandwich. This bread is being made by none other than Tom Welling, who's the Pluma Bakery, who's also going to be doing a pizza stall with us eventually here. He's going to support all the different stalls doing working in the bake shop. And you're selling bikinis right up here? This is oh, a different sandwich? Bikinis, what is yeah, that? This is another great example of a great sandwich from Spain that we stole the name and made into a Sexual. Paul, but there's, there's, I mean, the story. sandwich there's is just story. as sexy as the clothing. I, I gotta tell you. I mean, <laughs> a story. I mean, look at this. It doesn't look like a bikini. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. That's a ham and cheese sandwich, but it's a bikini. Yeah, right. call, we call it bikini in, in Spain because uh, it was this uh, famous uh, dance club in uh, in Barcelona. They call it the Sala Bikini. And they were started doing these sandwiches, and then it got like a really popular around Barcelona, and it became the bikini sandwich. Richie, tell me about this. I mean, this area is coming back still, the downtown area post-pandemic. Your hours are, are limited. You just open the doors we're, and people are here. But we're, we're trying to judge things by how people are coming back. We're we're slow. We don't we don't want to go bankrupt waiting for people to come. But at the same time, we want to be available to have them come down, downtown. So we've opened from Monday to Friday, from 11 to 3 during the day. So that way, everyone can come back and enjoy the offices, have their flexible work work schedules, and still be able to come enjoy the square and have some sort of social interaction here in the city, which is, we're really looking forward to growing these hours. Right now, we're open in the evenings. For the bar will be open Tuesday through Thursday, and that way, those are the days that we're finding most of the people are in town. Hopefully soon, Mondays and Fridays, we'll catch up. Richie, Ruben, thank you. They thank were, you. worked with Chef Jose Andres. Take a look down the line. I mean, it's open, so people are in here uh, shopping, uh, getting their lunch. They've got a number of offerings already and many more to come, guys. It's the square, hip to be square here in downtown <laughs> Washington. And again, take a look. Folks are, are having their meals here. Uh, figure 19th and K, basically okay. uh, right where the Farragut West Metro Station yeah. is. Come and, and hang out.